Leaky Mac to the office, please. Leaky Mac to the office. Okay, here we are at something a bit different. This looks like at like a um a like kennels or something for like a dog kennel or maybe yeah I don't know but it's pretty creepy. I'm not even gonna turn my torch on just because of how dark it is in here and how creepy it looks. It's freaking cool as actually. Yeah, definitely a dog kennel. That's really cool. Well, this one had like premium rooms even, I don't know. I wonder how long this place has been abandoned for. It looks like a while. Gonna have to turn back around and walk out the other end, I think, because it looks like it's fenced up. But like you leave your dogs here or something, would you? I don't know. Maybe that other building was that before. It was like a dog fighting place. No, that wouldn't do that in Australia. Yeah, see it's all blocked off. So we can't get through there. So I have to go right back up and try and get out the other end. Right, we'll walk through this way. Major C's gates are all open. Oh yeah, so there's the back of the the pens. So they had the outside as well. Well at least I got to go outside and run around. Could have been a lot worse. Alright, so it looks like we have to go in through here. And around this way. Like a jigsaw puzzle. What are these more? More pens. These two. Wow. Bloody short roof my head. I think from what I can see guys, it's just more and more of these hutches or huts or whatever. Storage rooms for the animals. It's a big place. Like, it's probably a couple of acres worth of these tiny little cabs. Which is quite weird really, but here it is. Here's another one. This one's a lot smaller. So is this maybe cats? Maybe this is like a, um, you know, like a, a kennel for, if you go away overseas and stuff like that, you bring your animals down here and I look after them while you go away. Not really a pretty place, to be honest. Oh, there's a freaking house right there. That looks pretty abandoned too, actually. Sliding doors wide open. Maybe I go have a little look at that. Seeing we're at a dead end again. And like I said, all you're getting is more and more of these bloody kennels. As you can see, it's just full of them. There's all kinds of different types. So let's go have a look at that house, I think. And then we'll probably head off. I won't waste too much time looking in here because it's just, like I said, it's kennel after kennel after kennel. So it's not really getting any different. But yeah, like I said, here we are. Heap of kennels again. So could you imagine your poor animal sitting in there with the door shut? There's no light or anything. That's horrible. I don't get what this place was meant to do. I wouldn't be too impressed leaving my animal here, put it that way. And this is what looks like it. Oh, this might be the office area. Yeah, here we go. So there's cat beds. Yeah, it was definitely a kennel, I think. And then you've got a board here that says, long stay, own food. They even had possums? Maybe it was a rescue shelter. Could have it been? 
<laughs> the old stereo. Old Panasonic. Fridge. Dog bathroom. Yeah. This place is very run down. I would not have been happy leaving my animal here. And I'm guessing this is where they bring your animal into before you pick them up. Then you didn't have to see where they actually were staying because of how gross it was. Check out the calendar. <laughs> how you going, mate? That looks like Bruce. It's pretty hot. How you going, Bruce? 2015 calendar. Look at him. Look at the face this dude's pulling. He looks like he's trying to have a shit. Yeah, because he's trying to tense his arm up, make him look all veiny and stuff. I bet you he's not even a firefighter. So, the leftover bit of that pet place is this house. From what I can tell, it's on the same land as the pet the pet home, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's this house and it's, yeah, it's pretty wrecked. But it looks pretty cool inside, there's a fair bit of decay and people have ripped the roof out and part the parts. People have written funny things on the wall, which I think is hilarious. And then, yeah, we'll get in and have a little look around, guys. What the hell's all that? Oh, it's the kids. Man, they're tall kids. They're a lot higher than I am. Like, that's what, those top three lines right there are over six foot. All right. Just have a quick look around his house just to it's probably better for a couple of photos really more than anything by looking at it it's pretty rough not really much left of it it's a lot of holes in walls and stuff a couple of cupboards oh what the hell that goes a bit further than i thought so it's a bathroom and it goes through oh that scared the shit out of me i thought that was a freaking person uh, bloody possum and all of this is a fan <laughs> what a dumbass oh well shiver you right mate <laughs> oh that's great <laughs> I just shut myself for no reason well done Luke go around that way and do it you'll pee yourself as well Should we see what Sammy does when she walks around the corner? She won't, she won't shit herself. I did. I was just being paranoid, I think. Go on. Let's go. Nah. Yeah, the fan. I thought it was a possum or something staring at me and I shut myself. Pretty pathetic, but it's pretty funny. Alright, so it's only a small house. Very small house. It's in another bedroom. This is what? Three bedroom house. This one almost looks like it was burnt, but I'm guessing they painted it black by looking at it. Well, that was it. That's literally the house. Yep. All right. Well, we're done. We'll move on. See you at the next one.